Hi everyone, this is Tish Ambrose of Mindset Mastery Coaching. I am so happy and grateful to be here with you today. Uh, I today got some downloads, I call them. It's like all of a sudden you're in the shower or doing something and you an idea hits you. And I felt inspired to share this with you. And it's a term that I've uh, got downloaded me and it's called soul setting. You know, originally we've all been taught how to do goal setting, right? And uh, I'm evolving and changing along with my clients and the things that I'm doing and creating. And this term soul setting feels better to me and I wanna to share to you the differences. I've touched on this, uh, some of these pieces in another video with you before. But I wanted to go deeper into this goal setting versus soul setting. Um, so let's talk about what typically goal setting can be like. Uh, goal setting to me in the past, what I'd been taught felt like um, something far away in the distance. Like you're apart from the goal and your happiness is attached on you receiving that goal. When I earn this kind of money, when I do this, when I have this body, right? So it, you don't feel um, one with the goal. And you're not happy unless you have this goal or things are just not right. And it's like almost like a, the horse with the carrot kind of a feeling, right? The other thing about traditional goal setting is a lot of times we set it from a limited and lack perspective, meaning I don't have this or this is not right. And, and sometimes that's okay because that helps us to hone in on why we want it. I'm not saying it's wrong. Um, traditional goal setting techniques, the ones that I'm describing to you, sometimes are necessary and I'll explain why but it's just not the whole picture here. So it can be set from a place of lack of limitation. It's okay if that happens initially because you're trying to get clearer. So if something's not working for you, a place of pain like I've described before, the opposite of that would be the goal. But you just don't wanna hang out there in that place of lack of limitation. The other thing that's happened to me in the past in typical goal setting is it feels really masculine. Like I have to be doing, doing, doing to achieve the goal. I have to work really hard, right? And, um, you know, there's all these kind of masculine pieces, structures and strategies. And, you know, in your business, it could be, you know, like um, all these kind of things that you have to do to reach your goal. And it can be from the head, not from the heart, right? And sometimes we do need to use our logic in our head, but we have to use both. Um, the other thing is and it's timed, it's specific, there's numbers involved, so it feels very limiting. In a way, it's not that you shouldn't set timelines for your goals or have some numbers and have all that knowledge, but that's not the whole piece. And if we're, let's say we set a goal for three months from now and we put the time on our you know, goal and we don't reach it, it can be a cause for unhappiness too. And, you know, sometimes goal setting is like goal getting. I'm going to go get something, right, um, that I don't have. So it says it in the word, right, goal setting. You, if you put that together, it might sound like getting. So soul setting, very exciting, feels ah, lighter, <laughs> at least to me. Um, this is way different. It's when your happiness doesn't depend on this goal, right? And the difference is that it's coming from a deeper place. It's not coming from your head. It's coming from your heart. It's coming from a place of when you get really, really silent and, and you really get in tune with who you really are from a place of fullness and expansion and happiness. 
It comes from a state of flow. Um, if you're in the flow, and by the way, you know if you're in the flow by how you feel, if you're feeling gratitude, if you're forgiving every day, if you're present in the moment, you're in the flow, which I'll touch on in another video. But when you're in a state of appreciation, when you're in a state of expansion, when you're in that feeling good state, that's when you do the soul setting, meaning you hone in on what's really important or what you want. You don't, in soul setting, you don't worry about the how because it's an emergence. It's out of who you're being. It's like uh, the acorn uh, little nut, right? It can only be an acorn tree and it emerges, it has an emergence into this beautiful oak tree if it gets the proper nutrients and the proper environment and all of that, right? So when you set up the proper environment, when you set up this flow state, that's when the goals from the soul or the soul setting kind of emerges from you, from, from this space. Um, the other thing is, it's not somewhere out there in the ethers in the future that you have to get. It's an embodiment. It's, it's out of you doing that next step that feels lighter, that feels good. This, you know, I always ask myself this question, does it give me life, right? If it doesn't give you life, if it's like your energy is dropping and constricting, that is a really good sign that that is not a good direction for you. And granted, I, I do not recommend for people to quit their day job and, and do the soul setting goals. It's something that expands and morphs and you move towards it out of who, who you're being and the way in the house shows up. Also, um, if it, Take some courage sometimes to do some soul setting. Sometimes you really have to get out of your comfort zone because um, I know in my life right now, I have some situations where um, I, I'm leaving some very comfortable, very certain situations because they're not in alignment with my soul. They just don't feel expansive. They don't feel good. And yes, the tree is already inside the acorn and it's like finding its way out when the proper um, conditions are being met. So it's in soul setting is more of an expression, right? It's an expression of what's in there. So, you know, goal setting and soul setting. Goal setting is important. You know, we do need that. I, I talked about this in, in another video too. We do need those masculine structures. We do kind of have to set a timeline and have some numbers and all that kind of stuff. But it's a, it's a setting, creating, and then surrendering in an emerging so it's an intention and then surrendering. It's a leading and then a following, right? It's a combination of both. And the, the leading is when you get that creative ability to say, okay, what is it that, that, that would excite me? What is it that I can really accomplish here? And, and you get that powerful energy that's coming from spirit and you get to shape it into whatever you want with your imagination but then the surrendering is is you know this or something better what's what's coming up what's emerging what's what's coming through me not something that i need from out there so i am thinking about coining this term soul setting I will give you guys more on it in the future. And if you have any questions and comments here about soul setting versus goal setting, um, I would love to answer those questions or post it in, in, and I will answer those because I love when you guys interact. I love it when you give me feedback on these videos. Anyway, happy Sunday. I look forward to our next time together. And um, I hope you master your mind and let your light shine. 
I'll talk to you soon.